Welcome back, my dear students. Now that I got my coffee and my water right beside me, I can see that on the last lecture, I told you that Session Destroy was not working, all right? So let's go to cart.php when it was working, though, all right? So let's go to cart.php, actually to thank you.php, and we can see here that on the last lecture, I told you that something was wrong with Session Destroy because it wasn't working. Well, some of you probably are looked at the lecture and said you know why it's working Edwin you just for some reason clicked on the add to cart button again right so let me just show you real quick what happened so we got a thank you page right here and the session was destroyed right what I did on the last lecture is that I went to here and I click add to cart again and that's gonna add another item of course right so but if we go to the thank you page the right way and we go to checkout, we see that there is nothing here. So the session gets destroyed. All right. So it was working. All right. My bad on that one. But now, anyway, now that we got that out of the way, I see this buy now button here and I don't like it. I don't want it to be here because I want this to be empty. I don't want the user to be able to send information to PayPal when there is nothing here. Right. So let's go ahead and change that. All right. So. From the top of my head right now, um, we got this checkout on the checkout here. We got this button right here. So it's going to show all the time. Why don't we put this with a function? So I'm just going to command exit. Actually, let's see. And I don't want to take out the form tag either. I'm going to command exit or control exit. And then I'm going to go to card.php and try to see where we can put it. Now, because this is actually inside the body, even if we put it all the way in the bottom of the inputs, it's not going to show there. So we need to actually find a way to put it right below the table here. All right, and that's where it was. We need to find a way to put it here, but we got our functions right here. So what we need to do, and what I think we should do, is just make another function to display this button. Why not, right? So let's go to cart. And right below here, let's create another function. And you can do this however you want. Maybe you have a better idea than I do. All right. I'm just going to create another function here just to show you possibilities. I like to do different things, you know, because that way you can get more knowledge out of it. But if I do it, uh, you know, if I do something uh, that everybody does, then you will not learn as much. I would like to do different things. So let's create a function here. What we can do is we could create a variable and say PayPal button and then assign a hero doc to this and say delimiter. Make sure that the next delimiter is right here at the end and semicolon. That's it. And now we can paste that button in there. All right. A lot easier than echoing everything and changing the quotes, right? All right, perfect. So what we need to do is actually return this back, this variable here, so that way we can echo it somewhere else. We can echo this function. Now, here, we got a couple options here. We can check to see if we have any items, total, whatever, and then we can display the, the button the button depending on that condition. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to test to see if the session item quantity is set because I know if it's set, something is there. All right. So we can just grab the here and do a condition here. If it's set, we can say session and item quantity. If it's set, then we can display the button. If it's not set, we don't want nothing to do with that, right? And there we go. There we go. That's it. Perfect. So now all we got to do is take this name of the function, go to checkout, and do some PHP tags in echo because you are returning a value, right? Beautiful. So now if I come here and I click enter, it's making me look really bad. All right, show here, let's go to the cart, check out, for some reason still, if it's session item quantity, 
all right let's see add to cart we got that and we take it out then it's gone all right there we go perfect all right so we don't have anything it's not going to display anything all right so that's the way we can take care of that and of course we can also test out one more time the thank you page make sure that that's working correctly we're going to check out nothing is there either beautiful all right i think we did a pretty good job on this and um, we're going to continue building our e-commerce site and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you